Welcome back to my little channel. Okay, so the parlor thing, because obviously everyone needs to talk about it, and so should I. Parlor has been axed, they might be back, who knows. Uh, and it has been done by Apple, Google, and Amazon. Yeah, let's point our arrows at these companies. Well, don't get me wrong, I do agree that we should point our arrows at the companies because what they're doing is absolutely heinous. They are the death knell of free society. But in all fairness, I cannot shake the feeling that these people are merely doing what they're being told. Now that might sound weird because these are big companies, they're huge. And when we talk about Parler, Parler got attacked by all sides. It's not just these three companies that took them down, but their lawyers stood down. Uh, other internet services and providers are not responding. And it's, it's, it's a load of things going on at the same time. And this is once again an attack on free speech. Is this attack being done by Google, Apple and Amazon? Well, obviously the answer to that is yes, but they are not the main culprit in this. How do I know they're not the main culprit in this? Because if we look back to history, and we can go back a few years really, there have been a lot of actions going on. Remember Vidme? Vidme was the first, well, he wasn't the first, but it was one of the major competitors going up against YouTube. They didn't make it because they couldn't upscale and they had financial issues. Well, I mean, sure. And then Cocoscope came. Why am I going from Fitme to Cocoscope? Because there were different platforms in the meantime. True. And I'll get to those different ones as well. But I'm going from Fitme to Cocoscope because Cocoscope was successful. And then, I mean, I had an account on Cocoscope. I could post whatever I wanted. It was a free speech platform until the money provider said no. No, 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 no political stuff on Cocoscope. Because if there is political stuff on Cocoscope, we will not pay out. That's weird. So soft porn is okay, but political stuff is not. And Cocoscope unfortunately bent the knee. Now I'm sorry about that because I really like the platform, but yeah, that was the end of the platform for me. And I understand them because they were forced to block political content by the money lenders. Yes, I'm using the word money lender. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And then there were platforms like Mines and Gab who got attack after attack after attack, not just from the uh, IT crowd, so to speak, but also from the money lenders. And now the question becomes, who comes first? Because if we look at Cocoscope, YouTube didn't attack Cocoscope. Twitter didn't attack Cocoscope. Only the moneylenders did. But if we look at the other sites, the media, the newspapers, everyone and their grandchild was attacking those other sites. Well, obviously not everyone. But who was organizing these attacks? Who was dedicating time and effort to have all of these companies come out at the very same time to say that these companies are bad. Because to me, it's rather strange to see competitive companies like Google and Apple come to the same conclusion, basically in the very same weekend, as Amazon, who has nothing to do with Apple and Google. But this happened before well obviously not with amazon but apple and google attacked mines apple and google and twitter attacked bitshoot and usually always at the same time now i don't know who the puppet masters is who the puppet masters are who the puppet masters are fair but um whether we like it or not, Apple, Google, hell, even Amazon 
are the puppets. And this scares me a little bit, because these are what we consider the rich, the ultra-rich. But even they seem to be whistling the tune of someone else. And I don't know who this someone else is. I don't know. I mean, I know there will be people out there who'll say, well, that's a conspiracy, my friend. You're a conspiracy thinker. And maybe you're correct. But it is a little bit too coincidental to see what's going on with Vidme, Cocoscope, Gab AI, Minds.com, and now Parler. And there will probably be a few sites I've forgotten along the way. It all follows the same pattern. The mainstream is saying something, and all of a sudden, it's gone. Well, YouTube senses uh, political speech. Well, why don't you found your own platform? Okay, we'll do. Boom, platform gone, because you're not allowed to. Okay, uh, Twitter is blocking speech. Well, why don't you start your own platform? Well, let's do it. Gab, gone. Parler, gone. Minds, well, Minds is not only Twitter. Fair is fair. No, it's also Facebook. Gone. They're not really gone. They're not really gone. They're struggling to survive. Parler will be back. I'm pretty sure of it. I hope they'll make it. Let's put it like that. Well, it's it's not just sites like Vidme and and bloody bloody blah. Because if we look at the monetary side of things as well, there is subs uh, no not subscribes. Uh, subscribes. That was the answer. That was Parler and oh, what are the other sites? There were a bunch of sites where you could support your producers you like someone's video you could send them money and if you did then yeah that's a good thing of you that's nice until of course these companies started blocking people they didn't like you're not allowed to have political speech because if you had political speech they had a reason to attack you and that's what they did and then subscribe star was born and subscribe star had to fight to survive because the financial powers that be were trying to kill Subscribestar. So this is what's going on. Every single time a free speech platform or a different speech platform, if you want to, is being launched, someone is doing everything they can to attack them. So I could say ban Google, ban um uh, apple ban amazon don't use these things but the thing is the truth of the matter is it doesn't stop then because these are just pawns it's very unlikely that everyone at the very same time is con concentrating their arrows at the se very same enemy time and time again we do need to stand up, though. We do need to make sure that this stops. And we do need to figure out who's behind this. And that's going to be a hard thing, because apparently the politics of the world have been going along with them. I'm pretty sure this is one of the reasons why Donald Trump had to be sacrificed, because, let's be honest, he didn't play ball with them. But neither should we. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Please share this. Please criticize this. Please debunk what I'm saying. Shoot arrows in it as much as you can. Because if I'm wrong, I want to be proven wrong. And um, I don't want to be right. But I am afraid I am. I hope to see you all next time.